No cameras are allowed in this federal courthouse behind me, but the judge peppered the state with questions for 46 minutes. At one point, the judge flat out said that Governor Ron DeSantis is not Andrew Warren's boss. And while Warren did not get his job back today as he had hoped, he appeared optimistic as he walked out of court. The judge was very clear. He wants to get this right once and for all. So we look forward to a trial where the governor can come in and explain his decision and explain to the court why he thinks what he did was in compliance with uh, federal law. I have to do this. I mean, that's my job to ensure that the laws are faithfully executed. That so, was Governor yeah, Ron DeSantis August 4th when this saga began. We were at the news conference where DeSantis announced Warren was being suspended for alleged incompetence and failure to follow laws, including Florida's recent ban on abortion after 15 weeks. Warren escorted out of office by an armed deputy, he says. He filed suit saying his First Amendment rights were violated because he was suspended for what he said, not what he did. Today, U.S. District Judge Robert Hinkle said a trial on that First Amendment claim would happen in the next 4 to 12 weeks. But Judge Hinkle denied Warren's request for a preliminary injunction, stating he did not want to be, quote, yo-yoing this office. Flip-flopping prosecutors, the judge said, would not be in the best interest of the public. And so I was listening so carefully to every word that the judge was saying, trying to figure out what he thinks based on his comments. And again, overall, the judge did appear to be very critical of the state's case. However, he did have a problem with a pledge that Warren had signed. I'll have more on that coming up at 5, plus what happens next in this case. Reporting live in Tallahassee, I'm Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.